Yo guys, welcome back to brand new PDC Joe Rebel Clash video. Today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Glaring Weezing. Yeah, it's another dark deck because we did a Grim Snarl deck yesterday, but Glaring Weezing is also a pretty decent card. Now, it does have a very good ability with neutralizing gas. If this Pokemon is your active spot, your opponent's Pokemon in play and their hand discard have no abilities. So pretty much they can't use Dead A Change, they can't use Stellar Wish, they can't use Psychic Recharge, they can't use Intrepid Sword. All that is shut off with Glaring Weezing in the active. Now, unfortunately, this card's attack is kind of not that great it poisons your opponent and it's four damage per turn and we can play some toxic cokes to try to increase that damage unfortunately though that's not a lot of damage and i wish his attack was a little bit better but it is what it is um the ability is still really good to lock them out of the game and there's a lot more combos you can play with wheezing of course there are some other decks you can use with wheezing and one of them also could be in hit run decks like wheezing behem could be some so i'm definitely going to cover this card again down the road but for now we're going to try to kind of just play by itself straightforward stuff so forget the video guys crush up to our sponsor car kevin tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pcgo pack codes guys if you have any codes that you haven't used yet and you don't want to use and you want to get rid of them or any cards you can trade them into car kevin tcg for some cash or in store credit of course if you're looking for pcgo codes still uh, get them over car kevin tcg if you're looking for rebel clash codes you get them singly lots of 50 you can get the theme deck codes at car kevin you can get the evolution pre-release kits at car kevin tcg for rebel clash and all the other pack codes all over car kevin too if you get anything from car kevin guys use my discount code code ldf at the checkout for a five percent discount on your order it'll support the channel support car kevin and it'll support yourself so shout out car kevin tcg check them out use code ldf you can also check out the articles i have posted over there too give them a read if you want let's take a look at this list here this is my glaring wheezing deck and um pretty much what i'm trying to do is making the most out of kind of a locking scenario now again severe poison is not that great we can play some toxic cokes to do a little bit more damage we can go from 40 a turn to 60 to 80 a turn not bad uh, unfortunately stuff like switch and mild lana are still a thing now we have some counteracts to some of those cards retreat is also a thing but we are playing two galar mines and an absol in the deck just some ways to lock the opponent out of the active from being able to retreat so those can come in handy um so those are also good i'm playing crushing hammers in deck just to discard their energy but just try to shove them a little bit more crushing hammer can allow us to do that and i also do have some confusion cards like ear ringing bell and koga's trap here to confuse the opponent if you can confuse the opponent galar mine poison them and lock their abilities that's a pretty good package to put in one so all of that really can hurt the opponent and lock them quite a bit so having those cards i think is going to be really good for us so that's why i'm playing some of those uh, i am playing a cool fish this could be good to finish an opponent off you can do 70 damage plus the poison damage just a nice way to take a knockout uh we can also use quillfish in the fire matchup if that ever comes up i am playing a mute to protect our bench one eldegoss i just like playing eldegoss right now bro every deck i play i just like put one in it's a free supporter with quick ball it's just such a good card um I, there's no denny in here by the way this is a little more budget friendly eldegoss is literally you can get one for three rebel clash I got my Eldegoss for three, not the full art, but the regular art. I got th I got a regular art Eldegoss for three Oakash. I have like over 20 of them. So I'm not capping. Eldegoss is cheap. This is a fairly budget friendly deck other than, of course, Boss Order, but I'm only playing one. Um, Yeah, it's pretty much over the Pokemon. Uh, no Spirit Tomb in here. No other like Weavile, Hoopa, any other dark types. So again, we're just going straight Weezing. I am playing the Foul Order Coughing Foul Order. Again, another Confusion Attack. It's actually really good to use this on the first turn. Uh, let's go into the items. Went over the Hammers. Uh, I am playing some Ball Searches. Quick Ball, Evo Incense, couple Great Balls, one Pokecom. Uh, I am playing two Rods to get our stuff back. One Stamp. I played two originally in my testing phase of this deck, uh, but I didn't like two. I honestly haven't even really used Stamp in this video, so I don't even know if it's needed, but the Stamp is here to, again, put your opponent to a little hand size. Alongside Marnie Spam. I got two Switch, because Galar Mine... Won't let you retreat easy, so sometimes switch will come in handy. I am playing black market. Once the galar mines go, we can just put a black market down. Sometimes the opponent can't take prizes for killing wheezing. Um I am playing a lot of supporters. When I was playing around this deck originally, I was bricking a lot and it was getting really annoying. So I upped the supporter count to like three Cynthia, three research, four Marnie. Marnie spam is really good. And then of course I have that Koga strap. I got one air balloon, just something to have for free retreat uh i got two ear ringing bells uh, i honestly want to play four to three of these honestly it's such a good card in here hit the wheezing they get confused for free uh and then i have eight dark energies you can go down to seven eight might be a little overkill to be honest but is what it is this is the galarian wheezing list i've got here it's a strong deck when you don't play against tag teams i feel like this deck can't really beat adp zation again what freaking rogue deck can but any deck that relies very heavily on abilities you can take down so let's go show it off all right guys let's get into our first match with our galarian wheezing deck here up against evil co-head with a possible 
Eggrow deck. Now, against Eggrow, you do have Wheezy, which shuts off Rillaboom. The problem is, I'm gonna make them go first. Maybe we can do a turn follow order. The problem is, is they have a lot of heals and they might be playing Life Force, which is a little problematic. We do start with a Lone Krogunk here, which is fine. We do have a switch and a Quick Ball. Ooh, is they're playing a Zacian deck. I don't think this ADP's Zacian though. Um, just Intrepid Sword. We'll see how much energy they get on this guy. None. Good to see. Uh, so we'll Quick Ball. I might get rid of a Crushing Hammer. They're not as important just because, of course, Metal Saucer. So it's not really a big deal. We are just going to go switch. We have a pretty decent turn. We can confuse them and we can Marnie them. Hope for the best. No wheezing there. We did get a Crushing and a Great Ball. We'll save the Great Ball for next turn and we'll go for the Foul Loader here. Confusing them. Not bad. They do still have Intrepid Sword. We didn't get the wheezing down just yet. But we'll see what we're up against. This could be the Zacian Mr. Mime deck. Yeah, I don't think it's ADP Zacian though. Though it could be. ADP Zacian, like, the problem with this deck, I don't think it can take out these big tag team decks that easily. Um, I think the only ones you maybe stand chance against is possibly Eggrow, just because of Rillaboom getting shut off. Maybe, like, a Malamar tag team, like Mewtwo Malamar. I think this deck can definitely beat Mewtwo pretty easily, too. It just definitely struggles against ADP. Pika is a pretty bad matchup. Even Toxtricity is 50 50. And yeah, it looks like they are playing the uh, Jirachi build. Now, they do lose two nets, which is actually good. So, that's good to see. Another thing too, we get Weezing in play. They don't even get to use Mr. Mime, Oranguru, or Jirachi at all, which is insanely good. So, not bad type coverage here. Or not bad coverage. I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, they do get the Oranguru. This is probably going to be the last turn they get all these abilities. Yeah, they have all these abilities. They can't use them. I mean, assuming we can hit a Weezing off this Great Ball. Hopefully they put a dead card on top of their deck. Cause, oh, never mind, I was going to say because we're going to marry them. They're going to go Quick Ball for... Oh, it is an ADP deck. Oh, shoot. I thought it was going to be... Because I saw the net, so I was like, all right, they're not playing ADP. They've already attached, though, so they can't actually go Alter Creation this turn. Alter Creation is a little scary, though. I mean, it's ADP. What do you expect? Um, so let's go Great Ball. Can we get a Weezing here? We do indeed. We also got Absol, which is good. But we get the Weezing down, so they don't have a Ranguru or Jirachi anymore. Do we want to play the hammer or do we want to save it for a water energy? I might want to do that. There's no real reason to get rid of energy on this guy anyway. So let's go Marnie here. Try to get maybe Toxic Croak. Nope. Koga's Trap is good. We can put down the Absol too. And let's go for the Severe Poison. Only 40 damage. No Toxic Croak is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Absol's in play, so they can't retreat here unless they have a switch. Which, they might have just not played many switches because of the scoop of net. Hey, they're gonna Marnie me. I'm fine with that. I did want to Koga's trap the uh, ADP, but I'm fine with this Marnie. There's a hammer. We got a boss's order too, so we could play boss order on this Zacian. Oh, they already built it up. And they almost pulled off in one turn. That's a little scary. All right, let's see if we draw dark energy. I'm not drawing very well here at the end of the game. All right, or the beginning here. Crushing hammer does get tails, which is a big rip in the chat. Alright, we're just going to have to keep doing this and hope for the best. They might Marnie me again, which is the best case scenario here. Crushing Hammer, though, not working on that Zacian is kind of sad. I mean, they probably have the energy anyways, but still would have been nice to get heads. Ooh, they're going to bosses order me. They're probably going to bring in the Absol. Yep, I was right. They get to play their abilities, but they only get to play Ranguru and Jirachi. They can't play Dedenne's anymore as their bench is full, so I don't really know. Do they have a switch? No, Intrepid Sword. Okay. What do we draw here? Quick ball. That gets us Eldegoss. We'll take it. We'll get rid of the boss's order. Take this guy. Uh, don't need to play Rodgers yet. We'll go for this. We'll Marnie them. And hope to get a supporter off of this. We do, we get research. We also get a calm, which can get us Toxicroak, which lets us knock him out. We can also just get Weezing here. I honestly think though going Toxicroak is still fine, just having that thing get knocked out. My opponent will obviously be able to take me out with Intrepid Sword. That's fine though. I've accepted it. We have a Koga's Trap. So maybe if we get a Weezing here off the prizes, we can Koga's Trap Weezing them. We don't. We get the Uringing Bell, which is nice. Wish we had that a turn earlier. Okay. Maybe, maybe we should have them poison out really now. They bring in Jirachi. Don't know why they did that, because they can't play its ability. Or retreat it. Unless they have a scoop up net or a switch. They put Mewtwo down, which they can't use either. My opponent doesn't realize what Weezing does, apparently. 
feels good because they're playing APC Asian. Again, I stated before, I don't have any sympathy for this deck. Um, they will knock me out, that's fine. They can't do that again. The absolute locks this guy, so I am totally fine with this. All right, let's see what we draw here. Not a wheezy note. Okay, we'll play this, we'll quick ball. Looks like we have to go research, unfortunately. We are gonna lose a couple supporters. I don't like losing the Koga's Trap, not gonna lie. We didn't even get a wheezing off of that anyways. A rip. Just gonna crushing hammer. I still wanna maybe save it for the waters, but we're just gonna do it again. Hey! Not bad. Fortunately, we just have to settle with a foul loader here. Not much I can do about that. We didn't find Weezing. Might have prized a few. I honestly didn't really check if my Weezings are prized or not. This is not ideal though. We really do need to find an energy or a Weezing top deck. How many spurs do we have left? Two Marnies, one research. We still have all of our Cynthia's though, so we'll see. They could Marnie me too. The problem is they also get their abilities here, which means I get to Intrepid Sword again. Ooh, they're playing it big. They might just get a Brave Blade knockout here. That'd be pretty big. Oh, they had a research rip. This ain't good. Yeah, they're gonna net the Mewtwo. They're probably gonna get Boss Order back on top. Unless we can get a Marnie here off our top deck. This is not good. It's good that they haven't gotten the Alter Creation off. That's like the one thing that's kind of saving us right now is they haven't played Alter Creation yet. The problem is we're stuck. We are completely stuck right now because we don't have a supporter. If only we had a Weezing in that hand, I could have just Kogus Trapped and then just went for Galarian Weezing's attack. Honestly, though, we're putting up somewhat of a fight against ADP Zation, which is still something because, again, I feel like this matchup is almost unwinnable. Even though you can shut off a few of their abilities, just not, not much you can do against this matchup. It's, it's still ADP Zation. The fact that they get to take two extra prizes just makes it too hard to win. Um. And they're gonna go to Dene. All this would not have been possible if only we had. I think they actually might get a knockout of this turn, which is fine. We have the earring and bell. Never mind, they're not gonna go to Dene. Yeah, Mew. This is not looking good. Uh, we're just gonna put energy on this guy. Could also build up Toxic Croak. Poison Claws at least knocks out Jirachi. We can also put energy on Eldegoss. And then we can use Eldegoss. Do 50 damage and put it back in the deck and that means we can get like a research back or something unfortunately that's what we have to do though in the state we're in we're in top deck mode when i was originally playing this deck i found being i found bricking was a problem even though i play all these supporters but that just happens sometimes in the pokemon training card game you brick too much they're putting a lot of energy on drop chats three sauces down there's a dedene all they need is a switch here and we pretty much are doomed I don't know if the Jirachi can even switch, though. <laughs> sure! Sure! Get heads on- Oh my god! Bruh! That's frustrating. They just- No, oh, let's just try to attack- Oh yeah, let's just get heads. Oh yeah, sure. That is, a uh, A little annoying, not gonna lie. We're just gonna have to, I think, bring in Mew here, unfortunately. We do put the Eldegoss- We do put two energy back in the deck, too. Which- it's not ideal. How much quick balls we even play? We have one left. Oh, man. My opponent had to get heads there. That is kind of annoying, not gonna lie. There's our switch. They're gonna alter creation here. Yeah, this is probably where we lose. We just, unfortunately, couldn't really get much going here in the later game. There's a wheezing. No energy, though. Yeah, we're gonna... I'm just gonna concede. We're not going to win anymore, unfortunately. They got the alteration off. They have to take two knockouts. There's no way we can really salvage a win there. ADP Zacian, guys. You can't beat that matchup. We kind of got a little thing going in the beginning there. And then we just ended up breaking out of the game. That's just... That's how life works. All right, guys. Let's get into another game here. We're up against a fighting psychic deck. Hmm. I don't know what this honestly could be. It could be a Stonjourner deck. Stonjourner is Magius. Uh, that could be a little tough. Sanjurner is a little tanky boy, which is a little scary, especially with that first attack. And that first attack is not ideal. But let's see here what they're playing. It could be a Malamar deck. I highly doubt it. I really want to play against Malamar, though, with this deck. I've beaten a Malamar deck with 
Um, all right, so I've beaten a Weezing deck with Malamar before. I don't know if I was required. I think I was just playtesting a Dragapult Malamar deck that I'm thinking about playing a Limitless um, Q3. But I have beaten Weezing before with Malamar. Uh, but I do want to try to see if I can beat... I don't know, I'm playing against a... I want to play against a Malamar deck. Okay, how are we starting here? Coughing, ditto, and no draw supporter or out to find Weezing, which is kind of frustrating. Whatever. Oh, they're mulliganing. That's good. Let's see. Are they playing a Stonjurim Maggie's deck? They're playing Gengar Mimikyu. Oh, okay. That's fine. They actually don't get Amistar's ability when Weezing's active. Unfortunately, Weezing doesn't have an attack that damages them because, of course, they are a... Pokemon weak to darks? I guess we can attack with Toxicroak. That takes a lot of energy, unless we have twin energy in here. We do get to just play a Koga's Trap, though. Or actually, we can just foul loader them. Draw a Great Ball. That's pretty good. We'll save that for next turn. And we'll just go for foul loader. Seems good. I wish I played Spirit Tomb in this deck or something. Just some way to damage this. Now, that Zacian flipped the coin to attack and of course they got heads. If this guy flips the coin to attack and gets heads too, I'm gonna be big sad, not gonna lie. I'm gonna be pretty sad if that actually happens. If my opponent actually flips heads here on the Horror House GX, I'm gonna cry. They are confused. Oh, they could be playing mixed herbs though. Well, they don't get any. Maybe they don't. I guess they don't have room for it. Yeah, I think most Gengar Mimikyu lists cut out the mixed herbs a long time ago and they're kind of useless now anyways. Hey! Some luck came our way. You'll love to see it. Now, the luck needs to really come our way off this Great Ball. We need to get a Weezing here. We don't. We get a Coughing. We could Koga's Trap them. I don't think we really need to. We just got the pass, unfortunately. There's nothing we can do. I'm going to save the Dark Energy for the Ditto, because that can at least turn into another Coughing. We need to draw a Supporter. They might item lock us too this turn. Yeah, it looks like they are. So we just need to draw a supporter here to get Weezing. Once we get Weezing down, they can't use Amistar's ability. We just need to do it. I mean, I guess if they Horror House me here, that can give us a supporter probably. I should have played a Galar Mine down, actually. Yeah, we should probably just play a Galar Mine, but they might... I don't know. You probably should have done that. That's fine. I hate losing to Bricking, though. This is... See what I mean with the Bricking, bro? It doesn't matter how many supporters you put in your deck. You just... You seem to Brick too much. And that is happening right now, unfortunately, for us. Uh, they attach to Amistar, which is interesting. That's actually fine. And they do get heads, and they are going to whorehouse me, and I am fine with this. Can we get a supporter? We don't. We don't. Yeah, we should have put a Galar Mine down, because then they can't move, use Amistar to retreat. Oh my god. Rip. We have a Koga Strap, though. We have another coffee. We're fine for now. Like, We're not in the greatest positions, but we're, oh, we're, we're fine for now. Don't know where my friggin' supporters are at. It's kind of cheesy me. <laughs> I don't like bricking, as you can tell. But for now, we can work with what we got in our hand. We have an ear ringing bell, Coco's Trap. We have a few ways to confuse them. Gallermine can lock the Amistar. They're going to play a Malalana. That's another problem. They probably have more Malalanas too. They do have the Burn to Energy here, though. Do they have an energy to retreat? Or an air balloon? Should have played the Gallermine. If we put the Gallermine here, that would have been perfect. Because then they wouldn't be able to do this. Ooh, surprise box. Thank you. Put that back in my hand, because then I get a Weezing to play. I get a free Great Ball. And they pass? Ooh, you love to see it. Um, okay. How are we doing this? We'll put the Galar Mine in play. We'll bench the Coughing. We'll do this. We'll just have a pass. We're going to save the Goga's Trap. We'll see if this Galar Mine locks them. They might have another Maulana. Maulana is a problem for us if they do have it, but... The fact that they didn't really get to do much with those is actually fine. They have a stadium now, two. They get one heads. What stadium do they play? Do they play Lavender Town? They do. They get a peek in my hand. Again, the amount of confusing we can do is actually pretty good for us right now. Get to look at their hand, too. That's not bad. Only one card or discard pile. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm just, at this point, just praying on a Weezing or a Supporter top deck. I, at this point, I'll take a research. I don't even care. Just anything to get us a supporter would be freaking amazing game enough with the breaking holy 600 damage jesus <laughs> that's hilarious all right what do we draw hey a supporter what do they got so they have a research awesome uh 
Um. Hmm. I think we just play the research. I got to. I need to get a wheezing. There we go. We got a crushing hammer. That's pretty big. Uh, we also got the ear ringing bell. We can put that on. We can play the crushing hammer here. And we get heads. We can take the energy off the active. Probably want to get another coughing down, but I don't want to get rid of anything. Maybe the Marnie could go. But they're going to research next turn, right? I could get rid of the Eldegoss. I think we'll wait a turn. We have a Ditto in place, so we're fine for now. We're just going to go for the Severe Poison here. I want to keep the Eldegoss, too. We might need it for, like, a Koga Strat. We could Koga next turn. But we should have played the Quick Plash, because then they can't knock me out with, with that. I guess no matter what, they can find a Surprise Box. They, they're probably going to knock me out no matter what here. Then they confuse themselves. Yeah, I should have played the Quick Ball, though. I totally forgot the Poltergeist of the thing. We should have probably just got rid of the Marnie. Yeah, I definitely should have done that. It's fine, though. As long as we don't brick another Wheezy, we should be okay. That Research Shop deck saved my butt. We did lose a few important cards, like the Koga's Trap. They played three Melana, and they top decked it. Yo, what? What kind of luck is that, bro? Again, I'm fine with them playing that without doing much else with it. All right. I'm just going to go Marnie. We know, I know that they have a research, so I'm just going to hit them with the Marnie here. And all right, we get Black Market. No, Toxicro. We can Quick Ball the Toxicro away to get another Coughing, I think. We should maybe Great Ball first, actually, try to get all the Goss. All right, we'll play this now. Oh, we get nothing. Oh, there's a bunch of supporters. All right, well, Severe Poison then. Don't really care for knocking out the Amistar, but if we get our items back, that's fine. Unfortunately, they go knocked out back into their turn, but that's fine. That's fine by me. Three Malolanas, though. What the heck kind of... That's insane. And they caught the top deck. I just can't get over that. That's actually ridiculous. The Fossil's a pretty big card for them. There's a Stadium Nav. They get... Double heads. Oh, if they get two stadiums, black market won't stick. They get nothing. Ooh. Okay. They might have prized some Lavender Towns here. That's good for us. And they concede. Weezing takes out Gengar. Even though we had a bad start with the bricking, Weezing took down a tag team deck. I'll take it. I'll take it. The Confusion Package kind of paid off for us. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, guys. Let's get into another match with Weezing here. Playing against... Oh, Pure Grass. We ran into a Rillaboom deck. Surprised we haven't seen a Mewtwo or a Malamar deck yet with this deck. Even in testing, I didn't play against a single one. It was mostly just Pika and Eggra Rillaboom. So I don't know where the Mallies are at. I'd like to play against one. And I'm going to let them go first because we can maybe Foul Loader turn one, then which will put them on the clock from being able to use um, Eggra's attack. We do get Coughing and Krogan. Not a bad start. And at least we have a draw supporter this time in our opening hand. We have all three of our stadiums. We might have to watch out for Life Force. That's a very scary card to see. Ooh, they start with a Rillaboom, though. I'm still assuming this is going to be an Agrow Rillaboom deck. There's no other type, so I, I don't really think they're playing the Rare Candy Package. Which is fine if they are, because that's a slower way to play. The only way we're going to win this is if we get the Weezing as quick as possible. So then they don't get Voltage Beat. They get an Energy on. Do they have a Grookey? If they don't have a Grookey here, this is really good for us. They don't have one. Good. We get an Eldegoss top deck. Good top deck. We can calm it away for... How much retreat does this thing have? Yeah, we'll just get coffee. Number two. I'm going to put a Galar Mine down just so I don't draw it. And we're going to go Cynthia. Look for an energy and a breathing. Nice, we got one. Got a Crushing Hammer too. That's fine. Can't win them all. All right, let's go Foul Loader. Let's see, my opponent might be stuck. I'm assuming they have a supporter though. They might have a Life Force. That's the only reason I didn't want to play my stadium right away. Because Life Force is pretty bad for this deck. Uh, there's the egg rail coming down. If they do get a Rillaboom down this turn, that's fine. We do have the Weezing, which, once again, Weezing prevents them from playing their Voltage Beat. They have to play a Switch, which is good, because switching out of the Poison would be worse than them just switching. They're just going to Super Growth. I'm pretty sure they get Rillaboom VMAX here. I've never had, had that happen before, but I'm pretty sure they get Rillaboom. Yeah, they are. I mean, this thing's already pretty heavily built up, which is kind of scary. And unfortunately, it does just enough damage to kill my Weezing, which is not super ideal. We are going to get the Weezing down, though. We are going to, I think, go Research here. Could Marnie them, too. I think we just play the Research. We'll take the Toxicroak. 
we're just gonna go research. We are gonna lose two shuffle cards. Not ideal, but there's no reason to mining them. They haven't done much. All right, there's Absol. Uh, we're gonna play the Crush Nammer, I think. We do get heads. Slow him down is good. Put that on. We'll bench this. Just having two touch I think, is good. We'll play the Great Ball. We get a Ditto. We'll play that down too, right? Yeah, I think we will. And we'll just go for the Sphere Poison. I do want to get an Ear Ringing Bell on soon because when they attack me, we can confuse them. I am still scared of that Life Force, though. I have a bad feeling they have it in this deck. We'll find out, I guess. I say it and it just happened to be in there. <laughs> Did I just summon it or something? Like, how was it? It was just in their hand. I. Hmm, that's kind of bad. We can get a counter stadium though off the Cynthia will be fine. Still though, they don't have access to Grookey or Rillaboom's ability right now anyways, so it's all good. That is pretty annoying though. Once they find a boss order too, they can just boss his order out of the poison. Or the the glare and wheezing. That is super bad though. If we don't get a counter stadium here, that's gonna be bad. Things I'm looking for is counter stadium and possibly an ear ringing bell. Those are all cards I want to find. Once we get this life force, we don't have to see it again. Here we go, Cynthia. Come on. What do we get? We got the counter stadium. Nice. Got everything we needed, actually. We got another wheezing. And we also got the ear ringing bell. Pretty good stuff. All right, here we go. That life force is gone forever. We might not get much value out of uh, black market, unfortunately, because they probably do play um, turf field. But as long as that life force is not in play, I don't really care. Turf field is not going to do much for my opponent. And we're slowing them down. They don't have voltage beat. They might be able to, they might have a boss order in their hand. If they have boss order, they can easily just bring in like Absol or Toxic Croak and knock it out. They're gonna switch into the Rillaboom VMAX, which can't attack me. Oh, it can. Why would they? All right, thanks for the free confusion. Um, I'm just gonna severe poison that we're fine. We don't really need to do much else with this hand. No reason to Marnie them with a two card hand. I really don't know why they did that. They might not even get a prize here. It looks like if they don't counter my stadium, is looking pretty good see wheezing 50 50 against the rillaboom deck it's good that we found the um the stadium to get rid of this asap Ooh, they get rid of malalana so we know they play one but now it's in the discard they actually could have played malalana there if they wanted to but it looks like whoops it looks like we do have them stuck here we do have them stuck guys yeah, get a grass they can attack me if they get heads again i don't know what to tell you we got lucky with against the gengar not against Zacian. can we go two for two we do nice Nice stuff. How much HP do they have left? 180. We have a long ways to go to kill them. Uh, we'll play the Marnie now. We know they drew a couple extra cards. We might as well hit them with the Marnie. There's more supporters. No other Weezing. Uh, put the air balloon there. We'll just go for severe poison for nothing. I wish Weezing had another attack. Even doing 10 damage, I would take over doing... Yeah, that kind of sucks. I wish this thing had two attacks, but you can't win them all. They do have 120 HP. There is a chance they have a Mount Lana. There's the Counter Stadium, so Weezing will unfortunately give up a prize. I marnied them into a Malalana. You love to see it. If I marnied them to Malalana switch Counter Stadium, I might have to retire playing Marnie. I might have to retire playing Marnie if I actually gave them all that. That is their second Maulana, and I don't know if they play any more than two and one Kaelin Cynthia, so we might not have to worry about that for the rest of this match. Hopefully. Alright, don't have a switch. Alright, good. They're stuck to a hey, Tux Crook. Let's see what we got in the deck. Uh, we do have one Wheezy. We have Crush and Hammer. We still have a few stuff left, so that's good. We're just going to severe poison them, obviously. We'll see if they have anything. So we still have to worry about this, but as long as we have that ear ringing bell on, we're good. But there is a pretty good chance they play Tool Scrapper, but we still have that Kogos Trap to work with too, don't forget. So we just gotta pray they don't get a supporter or have a third Malolana. Hey, they concede. We get another win with Weezing. Against a matchup that is 50-50 because of the Rillaboom. I'm glad I had the ear ringing bell on this deck though, because it did save me there. We get enough to buy a pack. And you know what? I'm gonna buy a pack. I've been buying a lot of Adonta packs. I'm not doing any legacy content anytime soon because there's so much Rebel Clash content to make videos on with Twin Energy and stuff. But when around August, if you know the whole thing is still going on in the world and we can't really go outside and do much, I'll probably end up doing legacy videos coming around the next set. But I am trying to get me some Rayquaza Deox Legends and I want to get Versal Velpum and I want the bottom half of Kyogre Groudon. So we're just gonna buy another pack. 
and we got a toga kiss shout out to my boy outcast we even got toga p in the pack to go with it but yeah we'll do one more game with this wheezing deck i guess all right guys let's get into another game it looks like we hit another egg row deck this time might be different than last game last game we did get kind of lucky but this game might be different uh we're getting to let them go first again we can do that turn file loader and it looks like we do get there we don't have a supporter or a wheezing though so it looks like this is going to be a little different Yep, there's another egg route deck. I don't know where the Malamars are at. I don't know where any of those are. I'll take this over nothing but ADP, but this is not too ideal. We do have boss's order, so yeah. Okay, I was going to say, they do mention egg route. We could, if we don't draw support, we could just bring this in and then foul loader it. Hope for the best with our top deck. Not a great spot to be in right now with our hand. We'll see what we can do, though. I think that boss order play is going to have to be a thing. All right, we don't have to. They're just going to switch... I actually don't agree with that, because now they don't have a switch for when we do uh, Foul Loader, which we'll do. We'll hold the Mew, because we might need it for Pokecom. Foul Loader. All right, let's see if this pays off. Now, again, Life Force, Malana, they're all still very relevant, and I am scared of those. So, hopefully, we don't have to worry about that. Ooh, they have the Thwacky, so I guess of all that. Hopefully, they have a Marnie here. I would appreciate it if this guy would just Marnie me. Or we top a Marnie. Oh, he's gonna catch her my coffee, and that's fine. That's actually actually really good because he doesn't. If we waste those now, he won't be able to use those later on. Oh, he had a switch. Does he have double switch? He had a research. No. No, oh, rip. He's actually gonna get off the egg. I guess he already has a thwacking play. It probably doesn't even matter to be honest with you, but uh, not great. <laughs> he has another switch. He is wasting all the switches early on though, which is not terrible. So if we can draw. If we draw a way to get Weezing in play here, I'll be happy. Um, it is fine that he wastes those switches. He doesn't have them later on down the road when we Galar Mine, Poison, Confuse, Lock him, which is not bad. Great ball. Come on, give us a Weezing or something. Yeah, it gave us a Weezing. So that's, that gives us something, at least. As long as he doesn't get another Catcher Heads, we should be okay. Uh, we're just going to go for Crushing Hammer. Nice. Actually could bring this into play. It is pretty bulky. I think we're just going to go for Sphere Poison, though. We're going to save the boss order. Only 40 damage against a 270 HP monster. It's not ideal uh, until we can draw a supporter or get Marnied. We'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. So, yeah. He doesn't have Rubem's ability unless he has a boss's order or another catcher. And he gets heads on it. We'll have to see what happens. Or if he has Life Force, that could be pretty bad, too. Because we don't have a counter stadium. We just really need to draw a support here. That's what it comes down to. It's just not bricking. Which is something that this deck is doing a lot. So hopefully we can draw a supporter here. Or get Marnie. He might have a Marnie to Marnie me. Come on, please. Give me a new hand. Come on, give me a top deck supporter. Anything, really. I will take anything at this point. Just a bone. A bone is what I will take. Let's see it. Okay, he has an ordinary rod, that's fine. It's not good. We only get some grass energy back. So probably has another research then, because I don't see why he would play that. Yeah, he does. That's three researches down though, so that's actually pretty good. Especially if we do try to Marty him, maybe it prevents him from drawing a supporter. Let's see, he's most likely gonna find another catcher here. Um if he's playing Pokemon Catcher though, what are the odds he actually plays boss order? Alright, just a pass. Alright, can we draw something, please? Yes, finally. I'm gonna put the mute down so I don't draw it. Let's just go. Cynthia, give us some good stuff. Looking for Kroga, another Weezing. Um, that's definitely a hand. Question Hammer, Tails, Rip. We'll get rid of one Quick Ball. We'll save their Quick Ball. Uh, unfortunately, we're probably gonna need it for Eldegoss. So we'll put down Absol and we'll go for this. Get the other Weezing out of the deck. We'll save the Quick Ball for Eldegoss. And again, I wish we had an attack that could damage him. Again, even doing 20 damage would be fine. Unfortunately, at least at the pass. Not much we can do about that. We'll see, though, what happens here. My opponent still has access to stuff like Life Force. I don't, I don't know if they're playing Great Catcher. If they're not... Or, sorry, Pokemon Catcher. If they're not playing Boss Order and they're relying on a Snivy Sword, that's not going to do much for them either because Snivy Sword's ability does not work. So that's good for us. There's a netball. What could that get them? That could help them. There's really no, like, yeah, Kruki in our ass. There's nothing they can really get with that. Let's see what they uh, do here. Hopefully just a pass. 
They have 150 HP left, so they're getting close to getting knocked out. And all we have to do is go through either a Rillaboom or another Egg Route to win the game. Her field coming down, that's fine. That's actually good because that means my stadiums might lock into play a lot easier. And turf field is also not life force, which is what I like to see. And the fact that they're down three researches again is making this pretty good for us because they might not have a supporter here unless they have a Caitlyn Cynthia. I am still scared of Malana and of course Caitlyn Cynthia to get the Malana back, so there are some issues, but they are down three switches and three research, so there's a lot of good things going for us right now. It comes really also comes down to whether or not they do play any copies of Life Forest. That's also what I'm scared of, but they probably do. Life Force is a good stadium for Eggrow. There's the Maulana. Uh, what could they go into, though, that could help them? They do get to heal all the damage we had to do there, unfortunately, which is not good. Puts us back to the start, but they're still not advancing their board state very well. They're down another energy. That energy recycler's gone, so I don't know. Maybe we could run, run them out of energy at some point. Ooh, they're going to Grookey. Interesting. That's actually smart, because they can still build this thing up. Mm, Koga's Trap. I didn't really want to draw that, but we gotta do what we gotta do to get Eldegoss. Wish we had a research right now. That'd be really nice. Alright, come on, Cynthia. Toxic Croak or something? No! Rip. Just a whole bunch of nothing. We're just gonna have to severe poison them. Now, they will get knocked out going into my turn. That is good for us. It's really good for us. We need to find an ear ringing bell, though, for this guy, especially with this egg row. We'll see if we can get one here off of our Marnie. We're probably going to do... We could also go Research, I think. Right? Yeah, we can go Research too, maybe. I wouldn't mind a Research either, to be honest. I might just go Research instead of Marnie. We'll see what they do with their hand. They are building this Egg Row up, which is scary. And especially without Koga's Trap, that's going to make things a little more complicated. I might even attach an Energy to the Eldegoss just to get it back in the deck. To get access to Koga's Trap again at some point. I think we're actually going to have to do that. But, uh, yeah, let's see what they do. Are they going to pass? If they get knocked out, that'll be really good. And then we get some poison damage on this. They might have they might have another switch in their hand. We'll find out. They had their last research, which is kind of scary. Uh, I don't know why they benched the real boom, though, but... Uh, do they have a switch? They probably do play four. If they're playing three, they're definitely playing four, so... We're probably going to see them switch here if they find it. They are out of research, though. Okay, well, now I think I will Marnie them. I said research, but I think we will Marnie them now just because they are out of research and uh, they have a pretty big hand so I think we do have to mining them here but uh, we'll see if we can draw a ear ringing bell or get one off of Marnie or even maybe like a couple crushing hammers to get rid of all the energy on this all right there's a calm what will that find them that can get them anywhere thwacky okay that bought them a turn that's a little annoying that's not really gonna make much of a difference though we do need to get a talk stroke down though Toxor will let us knock him out. But maybe we don't want to do that. But then they go into another... Then they take another Rillaboom down. They can tank even more. So I guess we would just want to go Toxstroke here. Hmm. This is tricky. We really need to get near Ringing Bell. And I really wish we kept that Kogus Trap. The Catcher gets Tails. That's good. Alright. There's a Galarine. We'll put that into play. Put Energy here. And we are going to Marnie them. We get a Crushing Amber. We got the Toxic Croak. So we will get a KO here. It is risky because then they knock me out with Eggrow. Um, it's fine though. We need to take prizes, so we'll just take this. I guess we maybe could have trapped it too. I don't know. Let's see what our prize is. Hey, there's our ringing bell. A little too late though, but that's fine. We will take what we can get at this point. We'll have a quick ball. We can get rid of the quillfish, get another coughing, and just keep chilling. We still have our black market available. Maybe we can out-stadium them, too. The only thing I'm worried about is them having a third um, or a second Mallow and Lana. That would be very scary. They have another Mallow and Lana here. That is what is kind of going to scare me. Uh, or Caitlyn Cynthia to put that Mallow and Lana back in the deck. So we don't have a Marnie to get rid of that Mallow and Lana in their hand. Okay, they counter my stadium. That's fine. It's going to help us win the stadium war. We have to be very careful with how we do our stadium, though, because we need to hold on to one for that life force that they probably play. And common hurricane. So that will unfortunately knock me out. They still get to heal too from our poison damage we do with this Weezing. So we are going to lose two Weezings here before we really get anywhere. That's fine though. Let's take Coughing. Would be nice to get an Ornay Rod off this Cynthia. So I'm looking for an Ornay Rod, a Crush and Hammer maybe. Would be good. Another Weezing, another supporter. Yeah, okay. We got the, we got the Crush and Hammer. We get heads. 
Maybe we should have got rid of that. I don't know. Let's just go ordinary rod too. You put these two. We don't really need the quillfish. We could put the black market in play. So they don't get a prize here. Yeah, let's do it. YOLO. Let's YOLO it and severe poison and hope they don't have a Mallow and Lana on a switch or catcher that can get them heads. If they get one turn of voltage beat, that could be pretty bad. We do get to confuse them though. We get to Marnie them. We can also we could stamp them. Or Marnie. I think we just stamp, right? Oh no, Marnie, sorry. We gotta we wanna go Marnie no matter what. No matter what we're doing, Marnie here. There's a pretty good chance maybe they don't have an energy if we did crush an amber get heads. Maybe we should have got rid of all the Rillaboom. So they can slowly build it up in the background. And they're still gonna do that. Interesting. So do they have a Malana here to heal? So I don't know why they would do that. Don't know why they would do that instead of just attacking my active. Unless they have a boss's order or a catcher that they hope to get heads on. Maybe they just realize they don't they aren't taking a prize this turn. They don't have a counter stadium. That could be a possibility. Part of me didn't want to hold that black market though, just because of Life Force. Life Force literally heals them here and puts them back to square one. So yeah, we gotta be a little careful there. As long as we didn't prize our Oh, they do have a Maulana. That is their second one though. They have one card in their hand, so I guess we don't want the Marnie them. Yeah, the Maulanas make this deck kinda bad. Kinda bad for us, but uh they can scratch me. There's no real reason for them to do that though. Are they gonna scratch me? Yeah, they are. Don't know why they would do that, but okay. What do we top deck? A Wheezy number two. That is really good. And let's go for Severe Poison. Just chill once again and poison them. And they have one card in their hand too, so. And they're out of research, so I'm feeling pretty good. Unless it's a Caitlyn Cynthia. That would be very frustrating. Because it's going to take a long time to take out this Rillaboom here. A very long time. Like, the best thing we could do is switch into Eldegoss and float up, knock it out. Because again, I do want to get that Kogos Trap back. Having that, again, would be really good. Just having a free Kogos Trap is always good for us. Let's see if they have anything here. They could try to scratch me again. If they get heads and then do it again, and they get heads again, and they can knock me out that way. That would be pretty sad, actually, if they do double scratch me here. They could also have a Pokemon Catcher, and they could hit heads. They can trap the Toxic Croak. Okay, do they have a Switch? They have a Marnie. That is still a supporter, which is a little scary. That's fine. We get a new hand. And we got a Galar Mine, so they get Life Force, we can counter that. Maybe we can deck them out. Boss's Order deck out? That honestly could be a thing we could consider in a couple turns. We could also switch and float up here, and honestly guys, I'm gonna take advantage of that and do that right now. Just, I'm gonna do it. We're getting the Aldegoss back in the deck, and I want that for that close drive. Well, let's do it, YOLO. And we put the Weezing back in the active spot. Seems good to me. 100 HP, so uh, there's still a long ways to go to knock them out, but uh, we're chilling. Getting that Eldegoss back was good, and we get Coco's Trap at some point, if we ever need it. We also could deck them out. They have eight cards. We could maybe Boss Order Trap or Illaboom. They're out of Switch, probably, maybe, and they also probably are to Malana. So, for now, we're chilling. This is still, like, winnable, especially with the Black Margin play. That also helps our little, like, deck out strategy, so who knows what can happen here. The only thing that scares me is, of course, a Life Forest. They had a Life Forest, and they already attached last turn. They get attached this turn, drop Life Forest, and then they can hit me with their G-Max beating attack and knock me out. But we do have the Counter Stadium. Okay, they're building up that egg row. They're going to Marty me again. That is fine by me. We are going to lose that Stadium, which is not great. We got a Marty of our own. They have six cards left, so they need to do something soon. And the fact that they're down an Energy Recycler tells me they might... And Ornery Rod, they might not have ways to shuffle back. Ooh, Air Balloon. No, they get to retreat. No! The retreat play, the air balloon. They're down a lot of energy, though. They are going to get confused again, and they aren't taking a prize here unless they have a counter stadium. Nice, they are taking a prize. Can we draw a Pokemon, actually, so we can get another coffee? Okay, what do we draw? Reset stamp. Ah, I'm just going to Marnie them. Don't want to burn too many supporters. Okay, we didn't get a coughing. We did get the Eldegoss. We got this. Coughing? Hey, let's go. We're still in it. Wish we had another ear ringing bell, because there's a. Should we just play the Ernie Rod? Yeah, we should. To be fair, I would maybe want to get back a couple energy too while I'm doing this. We could also maybe get back the Coolfish, but I think we're just going to get back these guys. And let's go for Severe Poison. 
It's a pretty intense long game, not gonna lie. But let's see if we can come out on top of the win here. Then again, they have five cards left. We still have that Marnie deck out play available. If they keep playing cards from their hand, we could deck them out with Marnie in a couple turns. It looks like we have to waste our Eldegoss on a supporter, though, unfortunately, unless we can draw a research here or something. Actually, we don't want it because then we lose our Eldegoss. Never mind. Let's see what they got. They could also get lucky on the Confusion Coin Flip, which would be uh, a little sad for us. Ooh, do they play three Malolanas? Do they have a Caitlyn Cynthia? They don't? Nice. And that's another card they burned, which helps our Marnie play a little bit. They're still trashing this. That's good. Once again, trapping this guy is good. Hey, they're going to get rid of their whole hand. Oh, we can deck them out in two turns. Hey, and they get Tails. Nice. All right. I'm pretty sure that's all she wrote. Unfortunately, we can't win this turn with a Marnie. But what can my opponent do? It's going to severe poison them and do nothing. It looks like we're going to win, and either we win by deck out or we win by stalling a Rillaboom, which looks like we can pull that off also. And it looks like, guys, we're going to take out a Rillaboom deck here with the Weezing deck. Do they have anything to do? If they play a card from their hand, we just drop Eldegoss and win the game. We do have a two-card hand. They might not expect the Marnie, and it looks like we are just going to win with the Marnie here no matter what. Oh, pff, they're going to get knocked out by poison anyways. Lol. And yeah, that'll be it for the Weezing video. Very long video here at the end, but that just shows off how this deck can beat all of these decks that rely on abilities. And that'll be it for the video. It's a pretty interesting deck to play. Again, you can't really beat ADP Zacian, but what deck really can? Uh, we're just going to go here, drop the Eldegoss, get the Marnie, hit them with the Marnie, and that will deck them out. And yeah, that'll be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy the Weezing video, drop a like in the video. Subscribe down below to help me in the road to reaching 9,000 subscribers. And as always, guys, make sure to check out our Smudge Card TCG. Also, use code LDF at the checkout if you get any codes. You can follow me on Twitter, too, to stay up to date with all the deck lists I tweet out. Because I do tend to tweet out deck lists early. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the Weezing video. And have a good day.